Hi, this is Daddy Claxton, and today's message is some pretty serious stuff. The topic today is about sexting, and um, the sub-headline probably ought to be, You want to do what to my daughter? Recently in our house, we had an incident where um, one of my daughters was involved with a boy who was about four and a half years older than her. And um, over the past four or five months, um, he has sent her an incredible volume of uh, suggestive comments um, to where when you print it out off of MySpace, it's this thick. Um, the matter is before the police right now, and um, hopefully they're going to pursue charges against this young man. And that starts the whole debate of what goes on nationally with the subject of sending lewd or nude messages over ce cell phones, uh, which has now become called sexting. Uh, um, if you look at some of the polling data, Pew Research has done a bunch out there. Uh, a lot of kids don't see this as a very serious subject. Um, and uh, schools, there's some other um, cyber safety uh, poll that came out in February. Um, what it comes down to in the schools is teachers think there's a lot less being done to alert kids to the seriousness of this than the administrators think, which probably isn't a surprise. But there's a big discrepancy as to who um, our public school officials think should be teaching kids about the dangers of sexting. Teachers over overwhelmingly, about 75-76% according to a recent study, said that they think that's the job of parents like myself to educate our kids at home about the dangers of um, stranger dangers online, um, sending lewd messages, crude messages, photos of themselves naked, nude, um, to boyfriends, girlfriends, back and forth, because what they have found is what happens when, um, say, a boy and a girl are together and they in love and puppy love, and then, um, as these things often do, they fall apart, and one of them get in a fight with the other, and they get mad at each other. So then the guy or the girl sends the fr photo of the what they thought was an intimate, private photo to their string of friends. They just forward it, and then all of a sudden everybody's got it. Then it's out on the internet, and it's there literally forever. It could affect what happens with a kid's job as they grow older, um, their reputation, particularly in small towns where you know once it's out, it's out and everybody knows your business. So you've got discrepancy going on in the public schools as to whose job this really is. You've got um, kids thinking it's not a big deal and what I haven't found is a lot of research among parents as to how we feel about this. And I would tell you honestly that about a month and a half ago my opinion of this matter would have been probably a whole lot different. Um, but once it strikes home at your house and among one of your kids, and you go through, and I mean, you can just thumb through pages and pages of stuff, of uh, stuff you you don't want that would make Larry Claxton Flint blush. Um, it really changes your tune and your tone. Um, now I've noticed that um, the Kentucky legislature, as of yesterday, was had um, set up some fees or fines for kids for their first offenses on sexting, um, sets the fee at, or the fine at $100 and then requires them to do some community service work. That's a good idea. We're not thinking as parents um, what, what access we're given our children when they get on the internet. Now, you know, you can put blockers on your um, computers at home. Um, there are ways, I will remind you, there are ways for kids to go to the name of the software you've put on your computer and find the word unblock and go search and find a, a way to get around that. But what do you do when you give them a cell phone? What if you give them an iPhone that has internet access and has all the good apps that you can think of, but they're also getting Facebook and MySpace and access to those pages. It's unfiltered, it's going on, and you can't track it. I mean, you can put on a tech typing um, tracker on your computer, but you can't do that on an iPhone or any other um, smartphone or heck even just a phone with simple text on it old-fashioned boring text you can't control that and you don't know what your kids are doing you can see you can go back and check your phone records as to who they're going back and forth with but you can't tell what they're saying obviously there's need for conversations with your children 
about what's going on, but you also got to remember they're getting into their years of sexual curiosity. Um, oh, I love so-and-so, and I'm going to love him for the rest of my life. Yeah, until the next temporary permanent boyfriend comes along, and then you're in the same mode. And, and that, that process is what we want our kids to go through, because obviously we don't want them to find the first person they... Um, fall in love with as soon as they're 18, get married, and be divorced again in a year and a half. So there are lots of things for parents to consider, and um, one of the things I'm asking for your help on is, what is your, how do you feel about this? Is this something, should this remain a felony if, if your daughter sends her nude picture to her boyfriend and he then sends it on to the world? Is that a felony offense? If your kids, if your son is in his room at night, and he's sending nasty, sexy messages to a girl four or five years younger than him. Um, if he were to actually meet her and carry out those acts, that would be uh, rape, uh, statutory rape, uh, which is a sex offense, which is a felony. So is it okay for him then to be on your, his computer or your computer at home sending those kinds of messages to a girl far, far away? It was help instill to you as parents that these are things we need to be all talking to our kids about, from um, the younger elementary kids right on up to the time they go out the door at 18. Um, this is a serious matter, and you know it's our our job as parents to help get them coached and ready to go out the door when they're at age, and um, and help them make smart decisions. And you know this is so easy; it seems so innocent. And like I said polling numbers are there that show the kids think this is nothing. This is just kind of, everybody does it, yeah, I'm going to do it too. So that's the message for the day. Um, a lot of things to think about there, and there's going to be more on this subject to come, but I wanted to at least broach it today, get you thinking, and hopefully get some comments coming back in. So there'll be a blog post on daddyclaxon.com. I really encourage you to um, check it out and add your, excuse me, add your comments to this and let's see what kind of a, a healthy conversation we can generate. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again, and hopefully it won't be as dire and serious a subject. Thanks.